So today's story is actually about uh, how we ended up printing a uh, sterling silver dinosaur. And the cool thing is uh, that we, uh, we actually came to uh, this estate where my friend lives. I have to be quiet because Adam, he's working. He's trying to sell things. He's sitting there working. <gasps> <laughs> so you got really scared. So, what are you doing? Are you building the dinosaur? Sort of, yeah. I'm looking for impression and seeing how it would look like. Is this scary enough? That is scary. But we have to tell the story about this one. Oh yeah, we do. So basically the story for this is quite funny. Uh, one of my friends, he uh, bought a full-size Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, the skeleton, it's, uh, I think it's displayed in Berlin right now. And uh, it, um, he wanted walking sticks uh, for these uh, in Sterling Silver. And they could not make it. I think it was up to almost uh, 50,000 to 100,000 euros just to, to make one. And uh, I was, yeah, we were at this party and I was like, yeah, we can do that at Chioma Tool. This is no problem, we'll just 3D print it. I came back and showed the team that, uh, or at least told them what I want to do, and they were like, no, dude, we cannot do that. It's, it's not possible. But they ended up, in three weeks, they ended up uh, building an algorithm so we could actually 3D print the world's first sterling silver dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I thought that to be pretty cool. So uh, this is a little video about how, uh, how we came to be the first company to 3D print a sterling silver dinosaur. And uh, right now I'm wa walking around German Tools' warehouse and uh, this is basically just tools, all of it. Actually one, uh, 14 million items we have on stock. And these products, they have to be produced all over the world and then we ship them to our central warehouse, which is here, and then we distribute it distribute them then we send them around but in the future we'll just 3d print locally that's the idea at least this was actually German tools back in the day and now German tools actually had some of the first airplanes in Denmark and they were called German's cutting tools and the planes was called, uh, they were called actually uh, Bird 1 and Bird 2. This is me at Star Wars. So uh, this guy is actually, uh, this is my great grandfather, Fritz Christian Thürmer. He invented thread cutting tools and he's actually the reason why we are we're here and, uh, and having our company. Uh, basically, we do all these videos with, uh, with our students and, um, and together with 3D Print. It's okay, it's, it's, it only costs... Adam, how much does the dinosaur cost? A thousand euros. But it's 100% sterling silver. So, but basically it comes down to a, a mindset. Can a, three, can a company doing thread cutting tools, can we do 3D printed dinosaurs? Can we do 3D printed... Uh, tools, uh, we do things for airplanes, we can do things for offshore. But it's a mindset that you start out and you want to do something different. Because when you 3D print, the printer doesn't care if I'm printing a thread cutting tool that we normally do, a drill or a dinosaur. The printer actually do not care. That's why it's so interesting to take a legacy company like Chioma Tools that's 120 years old and make it into a producer of everything. And that's what we want to do. We want to become Spotify for things. That's the least idea. But it started out with a dinosaur. It's very hard to make a video today. Everybody's working so, so busy, all of them. I just see what they're doing upstairs. Yeah. 
Nej, problemet er... Ja. Nå, nå. So basically, uh, what we need to know is, so we 3D printed this dinosaur, right? Oh yes, we did. Yes. And 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 my question to you, uh, all of you, is so we can 3D print that, and we can 3D print that. So what is the difference? Well, the dinosaurs were extinct like 60 million years ago, and those tools are just 100 years old, so it's a significant difference. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Is it more easy to do a, a tool than doing a dinosaur, or is it just the same, all of it? Uh... No, that doesn't really matter, because um, in printing we can print uh, every geometry we want. Of course, there are some limitations, but still, the complexity of the part does not really affect the, the, the printing speed, the printing properties. So instead of producing, for example, 100 pieces that are the same, we can produce 100 pieces and each of them is different during the same print. So you can create complex things together with simple things and it will not take you more time. So you can create customized items uh, very easily without uh, much additional work. Interesting. No, but I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking the, the, in terms of logistics, so uh, let's take something uh, interesting, like uh, a, a, a company like Cessna, they make small airplanes, they need to keep uh, parts all the way back for 1976, there must be amazing big amount of, of parts they have to have in stock, mm -hmm. it just sounds so weird, will you eventually come to a, t to a point where you don't need having things on stock? It depends on like um, production. For Earth, of course, we don't need, but for the, for the factory, of course, they need stock for raw materials and um, machineries, but it's not uh, as, ne as much as um, some finished product or finished product as we have now in our warehouse now, at the moment. I always say, before 2027, more than 10% of all production in the world will be 3D printed. And today, a newspaper called me and said, where do you know this from? And I had to say, that's my own idea. I think that. I think also Gartner went out and said uh, that they thought similar to that. So a lot of change. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> why did we end up 3D printing a dinosaur? Well, why not? Uh, well, there is like a long story why we decided to do it because someone needed it basically and they didn't know how to do it and then they come to the picture and say yeah we can do it because we can do everything technically so that was the reason. Um, but it's also fun because we are producing tools and we can also make dinosaurs. This is a kind of funny connection. This year we produce, um, we will have a new production for, you know, um, toy. Children yeah, toys. toys. <laughs> Other similar thing. If you have any ideas, just comment. Yeah, make a comment. Please comment uh, below our video. Please tell us what to print. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> That's Sub important. Subscribe. Subscribe. Keep watching. Hi, hi.